How's it going? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, get your base dog tag so you could do your first 3D printing project. So in Tinkercad, you're going to go to Create New Design, and that's going to bring you to a, um, a work plane. And one of the first things we're going to need to do in that work plane is we're going to have to hit Edit Grid, and we're going to change it from millimeters to inches. If everything is messed up in here, you could still design it in um, Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge, but always use Google Chrome because it's just super helpful on everything. Um, hit Update Grid after you've changed to inches, and the first thing we're going to want to do is drag a box, one of these red boxes, out to the center of our work plane. It doesn't really matter where you place it. Now, in order to get all these dimensions to show up and stay showing up, I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to click and drag that out to my work plane, and I'm just going to drop it in the corner. And that's going to allow all my dimensions to show up. Once all of those are showing up, I could start entering my dimensions to get my actual dog tag um, design. So uh, our average dog tag is going to be two inches high. So I'm just going to click that one, type in two, hit enter on my keyboard. It's going to be 1.125 wide. And then our height is 0.125. And I'm going to hit enter on my keyboard. Now, next thing I want to do is I want to change the sides so they're not um, so they're not going to be sharp. So I'm going to come up here to radius. I'm going to type in 0.1 for my radius, and that's going to curve those edges for me. Now that I have my um, dog tag box, I need to put a hole in it so I could actually put it onto a keychain of some sorts. So I'm going to drag this cylinder out. That's a hole already. And then I'm just going to resize the diameter of this hole. So I'm going to change one to 0.25 and then change my other one to 0.25 and my height doesn't matter. So now I'm going to move my hole to somewhere on my dog tag. It doesn't really matter. If it's locking up back and forth and you can't get it centered, change your snap grid to off or 1 64th and that's going to help you move it around a lot better. So now I can move it and let me zoom out a little bit. Let me just center that. Okay, that's pretty good. Once you have that, you need to use this black arrow at the top of the hole. That's going to be um, what plane the hole is on. So if I move my view down to be looking at the side of my dog tag, and I hit that black arrow and I move it down through it, you could see the hole is going through my object now. Once I have my hole going through my object, I can highlight both of these by selecting them, and then I could hit this group button up here, and it's going to put that hole through my dog tag. Once you have a hole inside of there, now we could start adding things like text, and we could add um, we could add logos if we want to. So I'm going to show you real quick on how to add text to this object. So when you drag text out here it ends up on the same plane as the dog tag. We don't want that. We want this on top of the dog tag. So I'm going to um, I'm going to find my rotate option. I'm going to rotate this so it's in the correct orientation. My text and put Mr. N and then I want to change my I want more smooth font. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to bevel it a little bit. It's going to curve it. Okay. And now I'm going to change the size of it, which is the height. Or, no. I'm going to change the size of it here at 3 inches. I'm going to change it to 2 inches. Move that over. And now I could just resize it from these guys in here. So I'm going to use these little arrows in here to resize it to what I want. Once that's on my dog tag, um, I can see that's in the bottom of my dog tag right now. That's not where I want it. So I'm actually going to move this up with that black arrow that we used before, and I'm going to move it up until it's at the top of, um, of my dog tag, which is 0.125. So I'm just going to enter 0.125 for this value, and that's going to put me right on top of the dog tag, which is nice. So it's no longer in the bottom. And now my height. I want this to be about half of the dog tag. So if I take 0.125 and divide it by 2, it's about 0.06. 
and I'm going to hit enter and it won't allow me to go that small it's saying 0.1 is the biggest I could go um, and it must not want to high enough so I'm going to do point actually let's do 0.125 for the height of that also and that's going to give us a nice um, a nice height for it so now I could come in here and I could move this down onto my dog tag and make sure it's actually on top of it. So I want this to be 0.125, we'll put it right at the top and then a little bit more than that would be 0.125 plus the height. So 0.125 plus 0.13 would be point, geez, 0.13. Eight. Hit enter. I'm going to zoom in real quick and make sure I'm on top. I am on top. That does look a little small to me, so I'm actually going to take my height and drag it up a little bit. Maybe 0.5 looks a lot better. Um, yeah, that does look better for me. Uh, once you have that, once you have a dog tag and you have your name, you're going to export it. Um, and I could show you how to do that in class.